it in. And look at all the tomatoes between Hard Shell Louise, I found out. It's not Louie. It's Louise has been enjoying my um, tomatoes. And I forgot my harvesting basket. So look at your girl. When you ain't got a basket, you use your shirt. Look at that. I'm using my Speed Racer shirt to collect some beautiful tomatoes out of my garden. But look at it. This is what happens when it is like super, super hot and you can't get out there to harvest your vegetables. So this is what I'm doing. And look at this. Look at my Don Juan Rose. Isn't that beautiful? It is gorgeous. Let me show you a close-up of it. Let me go put these tomatoes down and then I'll come right back. Hold on. Let me see if I can cut this camera off. Look at these tomatoes. Why I cut this this camera off here. Let me give you a quick little tour of the garden and how it's looking. This is where I have some more of my onions growing. And I haven't given my onions their haircut yet because I have been just so, so busy. But the onions are looking good. Now let me show you this. Planted those potatoes after I harvest my potatoes. Look, I've got one potato trying to peek out of the soil. So those are the white potatoes, so they are doing great. So I may have a little harvest of potatoes right before, hopefully, winter. Fingers crossed, and I have more potatoes I'm going to stick in another container. To show you my Don Juan rolls, let me show you. Let me bend it this way. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. That Don Juan rolls is amazing. Look how dark burgundy red that is. Vibrant. I love this rose bush. So gorgeous that rose is. I don't know if you guys can hear the thundering. But um, it's supposed to rain today. That's why I want to get out here and get this grass cut. Because the clouds are telling me I have just made it in time. Look at that. So it's starting to sprinkle. So this is going to be a quick garden tour. If we be quiet, maybe you can hear the thunder. Can you hear it? But look at the sky. Them clouds are rolling in for sure. Look at that. Look how white and puffy that one white is cloud is. But then look at the dark clouds. Did you hear that thunder? These tomatoes, look how beautiful they look. Got to come out here when it's not raining. It's time to just sprinkle now. So we have all that I got to harvest. And then I got a tomato there that I'm going to harvest. And this bush right here used to be my Shasta Daisy bush. Those little beautiful. You see they have buds and stuff all over them. But they didn't bloom like they normally do. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the heat of the um, spring and summer, but if it doesn't bloom this year, this bad boy is going to get cut out. Going to have to say bye-bye because if you're not producing over here, you got to go. All right, let's go down the line. Look at all these, my bell peppers here. Still have flowers on them. My yellow bell pepper, keystone pepper. They still have peppers, but they're like super, super small. Look at these. I got two beautiful bell peppers. I'm trying to be patient and let them turn red because these ones on the other side over here, let me show you. See these peeking out of there? Let me see if I can get a better angle on this side. Let me go over here. These bushes. See? That one's almost ready for me to take it, but I'm going to give it another couple of days, and then I'll take it. And then as we walk down here, we've got the kitchen peppers here. 
Look at that. They are ready to be picked. And down here, we have another bell pepper. You see it sneaks in there. Told you, bell pepper roll is, is making me proud this season. And then over here is those hot, 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 hot peppers. Look at that. Look how beautiful the colors are. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Beautiful. And then I have um, some of my habanero peppers that are here as well. Let me back you up. So, Oh, I didn't even see these bell peppers right here. Look at this. Do you see these bell peppers? This one's going to be massive. Look at this one. Hope I don't break the stem. But look at that one. That's a nice size one. So I'm going to let that one do what it do. And then I have these peppers down here that are getting really, really ripe. And then I got my Cubanel peppers. See the red ones in there? I don't have my stick, so I can't be putting my hands in there. But I got Cubanels there. More Cubanels here that are ripening. And then I have some of them Tabasco peppers. Let me show you those. See those Tabasco peppers? They are ripening, ready to be picked. And then I have some banana peppers right there. And then I have some more Tabasco peppers right there. And then I have some more hot, hot, hot peppers right here. Look at that. And there's an orange one over here trying to get as hot as it can for Miss Renee. So I'm so excited about how well these peppers are doing. So this gives you a look of what bell pepper row is looking like. Let me back you out. See, bell pepper row is looking good and it's producing for me. But this spot is a hot mess right here. This was my herbal garden, but I took all the herbs and stuff out of here. And with all the heat and stuff, it has just turned into a weed patch. You hear me? A weed patch. And this is the type of stuff that gardeners don't want you to see in their garden. But trust and believe, Miss Renee gonna keep it a hundred with you. I'm gonna show you my good, the bad, and the ugly. So this is a spot when it gets a little cooler, I'm just gonna come and clean this whole area up and get it under control. Look at that. This is just like a hot mess weed patch. Over here is my banana peppers. Look how beautiful that banana pepper is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that is a good looking banana pepper. Mm -mm -mm. Loving that. I'm going to come out tomorrow and I'm going to do a harvest video if it's um, if I'm able. Because like I said, I'm in here getting sprinkled on because it's kind of hot out here. So I wanted to give you a quick, quick tour because I haven't given you guys a garden tour in a while. And then over here are my leeks. Like I said, uh, leeks look like they need a, they need a little um, a trip to the emergency room. Because these leeks aren't doing well at all. It's because of the critters and um, the heat. And look at the bell pepper over here. This one is doing really well. Look, these are the ones I said I was going to keep on there for a little bit longer. But let's take that one. Look at that, I'll harvest this one. Look at that, I even took the leaves with it. Pull that off. But this is what that bell pepper looked like. That's a nice sized bell pepper. End up chopping that up and putting them in the pot. And then over here is my leeks. Now these leeks over here, they look like they're doing a whole lot better. They just need some fertilizer and they also need um, some water. That's all it is because it's been so hot. And my corn over here, let me show you. These are the buckets that I didn't put anything, but I had corn growing in here. And you know what happened to my corn? The critter got a hold of it. So there won't be no corn for Miss Renee this year. So I'm going to take one of these buckets and I'm going to put those potatoes that I had in the house that started to um, get some roots and stuff on it and started shitting for me. So I'm going to stick that in one of these buckets and see if I can get some potatoes growing over here for sure. All right, guys. Well... All I can say 
this is the end of my tour but it's coming to the end of my spring and summer garden and now I'm going to clean all this stuff up as you can see I've started to clean this up already to get ready for my fall garden all right guys hope you're having a wonderful day hope you're having a blessed day and Miss Renee will definitely see you in the next video these are the beans, the green crop bush beans that I planted, another um, succession planting. So they are coming up strong and looking good. See? So they're looking healthy. So hopefully I'll get another few beans from this crop. I see a bean over here. Let's pick this bean. There's one little bean on this one plant that I need to take. I'll take it in with my bean and my bell peppers but these beans look really really good